Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to extract T from this equation, well-known equation for calculating the voltage across a charging capacitor. Uh, it's uh, quite easy to calculate the voltage, but a lot of people do have, have a little bit of trouble extracting T from the equation so they can find the time at which a voltage reaches a certain point. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, in the equation itself, we have the instantaneous voltage. That's the voltage across the capacitor in an hour circuit. That's going to be here. This is a standard 5 for 5 time uh, circuit. So we're going to find V instantaneous here. V max is the supply voltage there. And the um, value CR is formed by multiplying the resistance. Uh, we, our capacitor is going to charge through a 1K and a 10K resistor. It's going to go into a 1 microfarad capacitor. And we multiply the capacitance and resistance together and that gives us a time constant. It takes five time constants for a capacitor to fully charge. And the CR value plugs it into our equation here, just there. What I'm going to do now is show you how to do the rearrangement. The first thing I do is I take Vmax over to the other side. Because Vmax is multiplying this side, on the other side it must be dividing. So we write our equation thus, V instantaneous divided by V max is equal to 1 minus E to the power of minus T. T is what we're trying to find, of course, over CR. Um, and there's no bracket there. I don't know why I put that in there. Give myself a good slap. Next thing I normally do is I'm going to take E over to the other side because uh, E is minus on this side. I'm going to take V inst and V max over the other side. So I'm going to bracket those two, take them over. So I'm going to do a swap. This is going to come over here and this one's going to come over here. We have E to the minus T over CR is equal to 1 minus in brackets V instantaneous divided by V max. The only tricky bit in this entire equation, I'm sorry, I'm going to have a quick slurp, is to get rid of the E, which is actually really simple. To get rid of the E, we need to use this anti-log. And on our calculator here, that's going to be the natural log there. So to get rid of the E, we natural log the value of the other side of the equation. So here go we here we go. Minus T over CR is equal to the natural log of, in brackets, 1 to the minus V instantaneous over V max. Like that. Yes, it's a bit of a mess, but I'm trying to do this quickly. The only other thing we then have to do is to get rid of CR from this side. So we end up with minus T. Because CR is dividing this side on the other, it must, must multiply. We end up with minus T is equal to CR times the natural log of 1 minus V instantaneous over V max, like that. And all you then have to do is to plug in your numbers. So say, for example, we were trying to find the time at which the capacitor voltage reaches 4 volts. You would plug 4 volts in as being your instantaneous voltage. Um, imagine Vmax was 5 volts, then we would plug 5 volts into this bit here, and CR, which is uh, I've worked out earlier to be 0 0.011, uh, would plug in there, um, and then you just work it out. So I'll quickly do that now. Uh, we can find the time at which our capacitor would reach 4 volts. So we have minus T is equal to point zero one one times the natural log of one minus point eight. Okay, and I'll rewrite that. Now um, I'll take the natural log of uh, point two. My calculator doesn't work very well, but I'm going to shift and point two. And actually, my calculator isn't working at all. My calculator sucks. So I'm going to do it on my computer, but just off the screen. 
Here we go. So the natural log of 0.2 is equal to minus 1.609. So minus t is equal to 0 0.011 times minus 1.609. And of course that's just a very, very simple calculation, apparently now. So we're going to multiply that by 0 0.011 and the time minus t is equal to minus 0 0.0177 seconds. Because both are minuses, it's a plus, so the actual time is equal to 0 0.0177 seconds like that okay um, it's not not a difficult calculation to do hope it helped any questions don't be afraid to ask night night and cheers <laughs>